You're asking something, sir? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. time to meet and greet two of our divers from Atlantis. Okay. On your left, all the way from Philippines, this is Paolo. Paolo, hi. Thank you. Okay, on your right, coming all the way from India, this is Pratimish or Prat, you can call him Prat. Hi, Prat. You good? Perfect, yeah. Okay, let's start with a mini fashion show. First, let us introduce to you the belts, or these are called the weight belts. Could you show us the weight belts, please, guys? Okay, this is what helps them sink inside the water. Okay. These are yellow weight belts they're wearing. And to be able to float or to go up in the water, they have these jackets. It's called the BCD jackets. BCD jackets, please, guys. BCD is an acronym for buoyancy control device. And if you're going to see some buttons on the left side, they're just going to pump some air in it to float and deflate some air to go down in the water and sink. And behind them, you can see the tanks, right? These tanks are called cylinders. Could anyone guess what a cylinder can take? Oxygen. Yeah, oxygen or in layman's term, air, like the air we're breathing, it contains compressed air. Could you show us your tanks, please, or the cylinders, guys? No, not your muscles, man. I, I know you go to the gym, guys, but no, I don't need to see it. The cylinders, man, behind you. Turn it on, please, for us. <laughs> okay, then. We're pretty playful here in Atlantis. Okay, one time we would help them breathe inside the water for around 60 minutes or an hour. Alright, and to be able to breathe the air from the cylinders, they have this equipment found in their mouth, it's called the regulators. Could you show us the regulators, please, Prax and Paolo? Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> you don't want to kiss us, no. I'm not looking for a kiss, but please show us your regulator. And you can see bubbles coming. Oh, don't do that, Paolo. You can see bubbles coming out from it, meaning there's still air inside. But what happens if they ran out of air? So, okay. But, by the way, to be able to know how much air is in the cylinder, they have this equipment, it's called a pressure gauge. Yeah. Let me show you first the pressure gauge. <laughs> yeah, I know you know this sign. Yeah, the pressure gauge. It's a clock-like device which is going to indicate how much air is in there. No, it's another cell phone problem. It's used to know how much air in the one and the bottom part is going to indicate how deep they are in the water. By the way, this sand is 10 meters deep. Okay. So what happens if they run out of air? In diving, it's a rule of thumb not to dive below. So if ever you run out of air, you're just going to share air with your co-diver using an extra regulator. The extra regulator is called the octopus. Okay, the octopus is the one with a yellow hose, and we want to demonstrate to you, ladies and gentlemen, how it works. But please, can you help me on who you want to run out of air from this tube? <laughs> yeah, you can choose by uh, raising your right hand. Okay, let's start with Paolo. Who wants Paolo to run out of air for the demo? Paolo! Oh, okay, I'm gonna count the hands. One, two, three, four, Paolo. five, six, seven. All the time. Okay, Paolo. Eight, right? Eight for you. Okay, who wants Pratimish to run out of air for the demonstration? No one? <laughs> okay, Paolo, please run out of air for us. Oh, you're celebrating there, Fred, huh? Okay, now watch as Paolo runs out of air, literally. And Pratimesh, please hand him, hand over the octopus. There you go, the one with the yellow hose. Okay, please give it to Paolo. Oh, you can brush your teeth afterwards, Paolo. <laughs> Now you can see them holding arms, sharing with the air that Pratt here. Pratt has in the cylinders. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay, lastly, what they have in their eyes or their face are called the face masks, since our eyes are designed to see the air, not in the water. So this face mask has colorful loads of air for them to be able to see the water and to withstand the saltiness of the air. Okay, and a good diver has the ability to remove his face mask and to put it back on while still in the water. And to be able again to demonstrate to you how this works, let's choose from this two again. <laughs> let's start with Paolo. Who wants Paolo again to take oh, wow. Okay. I think it's going to be Brad's turn. Yeah. Hey, Brad. Come here. Don't run away from us. Or don't swim away, I mean. Okay, Brad, please take off your face mask. Show us how you put it back on. Yeah. Please, just for the demo. I know you can do it, you're a good diver. 
Okay. Now I can tell he's having a hard time opening his eyes. Yeah. Time to bring it back on. Oh. No, Paolo. It's not good. It's upside down. Let's keep him the not okay side. Hey, Brett. Upside down, man. Your face mask is upside down. Turn, turn your... No. <laughs> not you, Brett. Your face mask, hey. Look at the nose. Hmm. Yeah, he got it. Okay. Now watch as he tilts his head to remove the water from it. Now there it goes. Perfect. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Yeah. Thank you. Now time for the feeding part. Is everyone ready for the feeding show? Yes. yes. All right. Yeah. So here in Lost Chambers, we have three types of feeding. First is called the surface feeding, where this carry the food on top there is for the spooning fish near the surface. What you're about to witness are called the scatter feeding and target feeding. Scatter, the scatter feeding is where they go in with bucket of of shrimp, squid, and chopfish and scatter it all around inside the big tank. And third is the target feeding where they feed most of the stingrays and a couple of our sharks by hand. Okay, now we can see the crab coming in. We can see how hungry that stingray is. The one that's nibbling in his shoulder is called a cowno stingray. And here, the bottom part, that's one of the biggest stingrays we've got. It's a marble ray. And we also have a white spotted eagle ray down there. You can see it's a frenzy right now. The yellow fish are called golden chivalry. We even have it. There you go. For the benefit of the newcomers, let me repeat, we feed them around 450 kilos of food a day. And inside the big tank, they feed them around three to four times each day. And this is just around the second or third feeding we have for the day. So, the stingray is stinging the Yeah, good question. So for the stingrays here, we clip off their barbs. Their barb is a sharp bone where the venom would pass through. It's located on top or the side of this tail, and it's regularly clipped off since they're like males. And like males, it doesn't hurt them if you clip them off. Okay? And that's a shark that passed by. You saw that one? No. 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 It was a flat one. It's across a shark in a reed. That's why he has a flat body. It's called a bull mouth shark. Okay, to name more species there, we also have a pumpkin grass or a Napoleon nest. It's quite in danger, maybe. And we have a lot of leopard stingrays or honeycomb grays in the bottom part. Yeah, most of them are in the seafood. Yeah, that's a marble ray, this one. Yeah, we have one bigger than that. It's a block shed fan tail ray. Massive, right? Where is that? Yeah, it's just around here. Yeah, maybe. Okay. If you notice the healthy skin of our fish, we have our own fish hospital behind here. If you want to see how we take care of our fish in a fish hospital, how we feed them in separate tanks, we have back of house tours which happens from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you want to know more about the fish at the Lost Chambers, we have guided tours which happens every hour on the hour. You can check uh, the 4 o'clock one at the entrance if we have It always starts at the entrance. We also have one shark there going near Brett. This one is my child. Yeah, that's a zebra shark. This one, this one. The one with the long tail. Which one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a zebra shark. Scuba divers, we even have a lot of guests diving every day. Even without a diver's license, we have Atlantis Dive Discovery, where you're going to have a 30 minute training before a one tank dive with the shark and singers. We even have Royal Dive where you can also feed the fish and stingrays. Okay. Any questions for me, ladies and gentlemen? Any more questions? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.